My transportation story over the last six months has been a little weird. So November of 2017, me and four friends went off to Vietnam. When we got there, we bought some motorcycles. I myself got a moped and it treated me great. Oh, Zach, no. uh, well, it treated me great for the most part. So I had such an amazing time on this trip that I decided why not come home and buy one in Canada? Could ride around all summer, save lots of money on gas, save money on, on insurance. What a great idea. So I looked and looked around for the perfect moped and finally I found it. It's a Honda SH150. I found it at a dealership and I decided why not? Let's go buy it. So I did, I bought it. It's a, a great bike, oversized wheels, fast enough to go on the 401. Why not buy it? Unfortunately, a couple weeks after I bought it, on New Year's Day, I wake up and open my phone to this. So yeah, the dealership I was storing my motorcycle at, it burnt down. So my brand new motorcycle burnt to the ground. <laughs> that must have yeah, sucked, eh? Thanks for your opinion. Yeah, whatever, dude. It was really disappointing because I liked that motorcycle. It was black and beautiful. But luckily, they had another one. And this time, I was lucky enough to U-Haul this one home. So here it is. Now there is one problem with this thing. I don't actually have it licensed yet. More on that when we get inside. So once I got my motorcycle home, I had to get my M1. Now, after you get your M1, you can ride your motorcycle. It's just a written test, but it's near impossible to get insurance with just an M1. So you have to get your M1, wait two months, take a motorcycle course, and then get your M2, but your motorcycle course has to be complete before the three month mark or your M1 will expire and you have to restart the whole process. So where this one bad for me is I booked the first M1 exit course I could possibly get at the start of April, which was a couple weeks ago. And it happened to be the weekend of our big ice storm so it got cancelled because it got cancelled last minute they had to move it all the way until may 20th so over a month i would have to wait to get my m2 in this month my m1 would expire and i would have another month without transportation which is really frustrating because i've been waiting months to finally be able to have the freedom of getting around using my own vehicle, and now it's been delayed another month and a bit, restricting my ability to do the things I wanna do. So over the frustration of the fact that I couldn't ride my scooter for over another month, and I had to redo my M1, and the scooter is pretty well useless anyways in the winter, I broke it down and decided that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Because the course got canceled, I could still pull out and get a $500 refund, because that's how much the course is. So that's what I did. Canceled the course, I got my refund, and I did this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, oh my niggas be kicking, we saw, we don't play. I bought a new car. A 2017 Nissan Micra, the cheapest new car you can buy. Bought a brand new from Belleville Nissan. Taxes, everything in, all included, was 
$13,700. I think it's gonna be a really good investment over the next 10 or so years. It should last at least that long. I just think for me, the freedom a car brings is something that I really care about. Although it's a huge upfront cost and the gas is gonna be more expensive and then you have to worry about insurance and all that. I think the cost of it is gonna be worth having my freedom back, being able to go where I wanna go. That's just really important to me. I think and hope this was a good idea. Shouldn't have to worry about it for a long time. It's got some good warranties on it. So uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you guys around and my little red car.